my name is Dave Jones, I'm the creative director at Real Time Worlds. It's, uh, it's a big, big um, freeform city based game, um, which we've had some experience with developing in the past, and you know, we want to do something on next gen um, in that sort of genre. And uh, we really wanted to make it so that um, the freeform, the sandbox stuff in the game, was a real main integral part of the game. So traditionally we know, you know players love doing freeform stuff, but it always tends to be the, the sideline to maybe a linear mission based game. So we actually wanted the freeform stuff to feed back into your character and actually make the game you know, all about the sandbox. The, um, the backstory to the game is um, basically we have this very, very large city um, called Pacific City, which is basically overridden with crime. Basically, you know, normal police forces have just, they've given up hope. It's just, it's just impossible that, you know, um, really crime-ridden affected cities. So we have this, um, this new uh, uh, force set up called the Agency, which is sort of last bastion of, you know, trying to get law and order back into the city. And they are using, um, basically, what's been experimental um, techniques for many, many years, which is, you know, um, creating effectively clones from DNA, but then infusing them um, with um, some sort of nanobot technology and some sort of drugs technology which lets them really accelerate um, the growth rate. So basically um, they go out at a pretty standard sort of you know um, brand new human clone into the world but everything they do really enhances you know how they progress very very rapidly. Um, so it's fairly new um, they go in and basically the job of an agent that works for the agency is really to try and clean up an entire city. Now at the start, they don't really have the power to do that, but they do progress pretty rapidly. You know, so at the start of the game, you'll be struggling a little bit. It'll be you know just all the street punks will be a bit of a challenging fight. And, but as you really start playing more and more, taking more of them down, then basically your character becomes more and more and more powerful. So you know, an hour into the game, the guys that you were struggling with, you know, with the character progression, you know, an hour ago, become extremely simple fodder for you then. So it's a great empowering effect for the player. Um, and the city is basically dominated by three gangs. Um, we have um, Los Muertos, which is one of the gangs. We have the Volk, which is the second gang. And uh, we have um, the, the Corporation as a third gang. Um, each of these has sort of seven kingpins which control the whole, the whole gang. And basically the whole point of Crackdown is to go and find these 21 gang leaders and take them down. How you do that is completely up to you. This is not any sort of linear thing. They were always in play all the time. You can actually find the, you know, the, 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 the sort of 21st guy on the top one, and he's there in play all the time. Obviously, when you start the game, to try and go up against him is practically impossible. You know, he's very well guarded. These guys are much, much higher level than you. Um, but basically, you then go, and all the freeform stuff just say, keeps empowering you, so you decide you know, you're ready to take these guys on. Um, so one by one, you really need to start whittling them down. And there's a bit of strategy in there as well because each of the seven um, gang leaders in each gang has, has a, an important role in the gang. So, for example, you know, one's a firearms dealer, one's a recruiter. So if you take the recruiter down, you'll find that you know, basically the number of guards that each of the kingpins has goes down significantly until they can get a new recruiter in place. And uh, whereas they may be driving around you know, very powerful cars, um, if you take out the, um, the, the car dealer from the gang, then for a while they're back to drive in deus and things like that, you know. So, so basically taking down the actual the, the gang leaders in order can actually, you know, make your life a little bit easier as well. Visually for Crackdown, we, um, we wanted to come up with our own style. Um, obviously we've, we've pushed the characters towards these sort of superhuman traits and everything. Um, we, we wanted to create this massive, huge, vast world with amazing vistas and everything. Um, so we, we had to set ourselves apart from sort of being down at sort of just at street level where people have gone for sort of, you know, photorealistic type. Um, so we've gone for um, a sort of a comic, books, a comic book style of, of rendering where we've actually used outlining on the characters, tremendous use of, of color variety in the game, very, very different look to the city versus sort of daytime versus nighttime. Um, so I would say comic book inspiration is mostly where we've drawn the actual... Uh, sort of graphic theme from where we're coming from. Um, and the city physically gets cleaned up as well, so it's very sort of grimy and dirty when the gangs are in control. But as you as the agents start to take down the gangs and, and clean out the bad guys, then physically, you know, we can actually we, we clean the city up and make it look, you know, a much nicer place to live, basically. So you get this nice painting effect going through the city as you're going in and taking the trash out, as, as we say. So does that tie into the... You mentioned that some things are 
like superhuman and a little bit of hyperbole in the way that people explode. Mm -hmm. Kind of going for um, you know, the comic book uh, motion as well. You know? uh, yes, um, because you can run, you know, sort of 50, 60 miles per hour. You can leap, you know, 10, 20, you know, 30 meters. Then um, we wanted to make it gamey. You know, so we didn't want to try, you know, create uh, sort of like I said, a very realistic looking city because we would have broke it with, as you say, you know, the the the, the nature of the characters and how they react and everything. Um, but I think that's great because you know, um, at the end of the day, you know, it is a game. So, you know, we really wanted to um, to make sure the player knows everything that's going on, everything in the world. You know, it's very visual, very bright, and lots of you know visual feedback. Um, so the cartoon style, the com sorry, the the comic book style really sort of you know helped us to, to re-emphasize that.